Hi, this is Jason from TechWearLabs.com and today we have a rather unique product to bring you. The GPD Pocket. This is a 7 inch ultra small, pretty high performance, high res, uh, on the go laptop. Comes in two varieties, Ubuntu and Windows 10. Has a beautiful all aluminum enclosure with the exception of the hinge which is plastic. Um, the specs for this little 7 inch are pretty impressive. It comes with an Intel Atom X7 8750, which is the top end of the Atom lineup. Also, 8 gig of LPDDR3 RAM, which for a Atom based processor is pretty good. 128 gig of um, solid state on board, an EMMC chip, uh, a high res 1920 by 1200 display. Of course, a little point stick. What you can see is noticeably absent on here is a touch panel, uh, it's a, sorry, touch pad, which they've eliminated to further shrink this device. Um, it does charge via USB-C, and on the side here, you can see we have a full-size USB 3.0 port, uh, headphone jack, micro HDMI, and of course, our USB-C port 3.0. It is actively cooled. The intake vents are just below the hinge here. Um, this is a pretty powerful little 7-inch laptop, perfect for an on-the-go businessman or somebody who just wants some extra attention because this will draw attention. The shiny aluminum shell, as you can see, has no um, logos or engravings except for the bottom where it does say GPD. But uh, overall, it is uh, clear of any advertisements, uh, no symbols or logos. Uh, this is a very attractive, very nice little device. The GPD Pocket began its life uh, almost a year ago as an Indiegogo campaign, hugely successful. Uh, they advertised to their backers that uh, this device would be sold to them for a donation of $3.99. Uh, you can now find this online at many online retailers. We got ours through Amazon uh, and we paid close to $570 for our sample here today. So um, this is the Indiegogo uh, backers certainly got their want money's worth. Uh, this is a very nice um, small 7 inch high res five finger touch panel device. Um, Full Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. We are running some benchmarks on this and we will have the full review on TechWorld Labs, uh, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, we love it, has a very nice look and feel to it. The keyboard is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, it has a standard QWERTY layout, but then we have a couple of keys here that are kind of condensed and it makes typing just a bit more difficult. This is very reminiscent of the original HP 2133, uh, another Atom-based device, HP's foray into the same kind of form factor, luxury, ultra-portable, then called a netbook. Uh, followed up by the HP 2140 where they attempted to correct some of their earlier mistakes. Uh, technology has since then improved and we have GPD capitalizing on um, the state of technology to date. What we have here with the X7 8750 powered device is a very capable 64-bit 7-inch platform that really delivers. Um, we don't see any of the problems of the earlier netbooks here. There's very little stutter, very little lag. This is fully capable of doing multitasking. Uh, some very light gaming you could be done, done on this. It does have an Intel HD 405 uh, graphics uh, integrated into it. Don't expect to play any modern games, but you can certainly do some light gaming, some older titles on here with reduced settings. Um, with 8 gig of RAM, you can certainly do quite a bit of multitasking on here, multiple tabs open. Um, inside the case, what we have is a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, GPD says that you will get 12 hours on um, battery conservation settings. I think that's a bit far-fetched. You can probably expect closer realistically to 6 to 7. Um, 
we will have a full test of that and see what the battery life is like. It does have wireless AC built into it. Uh, some of the earlier reports said that it, its wireless capabilities were uh, a little disappointing. Um, I'm not seeing that. I certainly see that it's not as strong as a full desktop uh, adapter, but what I can tell you is at a range of about 50 feet from the access point through several walls, I'm not having any problems browsing. Uh, it is quite fast on its downloads. It is quite snappy when you're transitioning from window to window. Opening up contents from, from the onboard memory is quite fast. I'm not seeing any issues there. Um, I can tell you the trackpad, the, the little um, eraser point here does take some getting used to but it is not all that bad. They broke up the space bar into uh, two portions to allow for the, the push point, but it, it's still quite usable. Um, brightness is, is great on the screen, fully laminated Corning Gorilla Glass 3 here. Um, this is a very nice, very high res, very clear display, no issues there. Uh, would have liked to have seen a little bit less bezel around the display, but overall this is a very attractive uh, display very nice to use. Um, I've used this for extended uh, use already, some benchmarking, light content creation, some office applications. Yes, it will run full office. Um, and some movie watching. This is great for on the go for a business person who's on an airplane who wants to get some light work done and watch a movie or two. This is fantastic. Um, the USB-C charger that it comes with is proprietary. Right here. This little guy here uh, runs five volt output at three amps. You're going to have a bit of a problem trying to find a USB-C charger that will charge this device. What I can tell you is that Dell's Thunderbolt docks, uh, that adapter will charge this without any issues. Um, your generic USB-C charger, you should be looking at five volt, three amp if you want it to work. Um, and you're also going to want to make sure that you get a standard USB-C to USB-C cable to charge this device. Otherwise, you're going to use the one that, that uh, it comes with. Make sure when you order the GPD pocket from your choice of outlet that you are specifying or you at least make sure that the adapter that they are coming with is a US adapter or is appropriate to your geographical location because they, many of them include a European adapter. That won't work for us folks across the pond here in the US, but if you're overseas, that should work great for you. Additionally, GPD does have a line of accessories built just for the pocket. Uh, this little leather-ish type magnetic uh, folder is designed specifically for the GPD pocket and it works great. Looks great, feels great, magnetic clasp. And this is something that if you're a traveler like me, you're gonna want to be seen with. This is a very nice, way to protect, protect your small little laptop. Stay tuned to Techware Labs for a full review of the GPD Pocket coming up here in the next week or so. Uh, again, early impressions, we really like it. We have to see what the functionality and use and uh, long-term um, feasibility of, of having this as an everyday device. Um, thank you, it's been Jason Jacobs with TechWareLabs.com. Full review, www.TechWareLabs.com. As always, like, comment, if you have interests or you have questions, please send them on to us. We'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for tuning in.